Hello, so welcome to this next video for Comp 3218, Game Design and Development at the University of Southampton. My name is Dave Millard, I'm one of the lecturers on the course, and I'm here with... Uh, Ioan Daniel Malinov, and I'm one of the demonstrators. Brilliant. So um, in this video, we're going to have a look at a number of uh, submissions by the students. Uh, what we asked them to do was to create a game which had a strong core dynamic and a tutorial level or tutorial element. Um, so let's have a look and see what they've produced. I think that our, our first game up is called Divergence. Oh, right, that's, that's a thumping, thumping train track. So what I'm going to do is, um, oops, I'm going to put the sound right down so we can actually hear you over it. Okay, I'm going to put it right down because, yeah, still. Oh, I think I know this one. So it's still, it's still very loud. Yeah, okay. But I, it, I like it. It works. There we go. That's a bit better. Uh, it's divergent. So nice menu screen. Play game, quit. So little menu, menu change sound. Play game. Oh, use WASD keys to move. Okay, here we go. There's not a lot of places to move. Okay. So I've still got a bit of a, th a thumping soundtrack. Can I get through there? No. Go down here. Ah, pick up the knife. Ooh. Tap shift to rewind time and retrieve your knife. Oh, blimey. That's interesting. The world around you rewinds, but you are unchanged. Huh? So I can get my knife back. Oh, so I... once you throw the knife, the rewind, the auto rewind starts. So you have 10 seconds before it automatically rewinds. Ah. So you oh. have 10 seconds in which to move while time is stopped. Or, yeah. So after I've done that. Ah. Huh? Right. So they saw I, I be I'll be honest, I'm really confused. So I I think it's because I was introduced two things at the same time. I was introduced the rewind mechanic and the knife mechanic at the same time. So I pick up the knife, left click to throw, okay, and throw it in the wall. Tap shift to rewind time and retrieve your knife. Okay, done that. You're unchanged. Okay. And then if I kill that guy so 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 in this case yeah you cannot pass through the guy without him seeing you so you want to throw the knife to the guy and re rewind time i guess later well why is it auto rewinding and because i didn't rewind i'm so confused uh -huh. so uh it rewinds but once i haven't you throw the knife so you have 10 seconds before it auto rewinds i'm still bamboozled i can press a button to rewind time or i can throw a knife but if i throw the knife i then have 10 seconds and it rewinds time anyway yeah so only when you throw the knife does the time mechanic start oh okay and so i the, can't you're right i can't do it now. around you so if i can throw the knife in yeah. there I can then rewind to the point where I threw the knife. Ah, okay. So if but, I th but you don't. So everything around you moves backwards, but you stay the same. So you can, for example, uh, be seen uh, and start rewinding or throw the knife, which uh, yeah, and then you you can rewind it now, for example. Right. Which what, what returns the previous yeah. enemies, but you still get your knife. Uh, my brain does not yeah. work this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it does it does need some... I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I don't know why I need to rewind either. Why... why would I... okay, so I get my knife... why do I get my knife back when I re... why do I get my knife back when I rewind? It's odd. Yeah, you do. But why? So you throw it and everything goes back in time except you. 
so you get your knife back, but everything other than you. Uh. Right, I I honestly, uh, yeah. So this is one of those games. Now. Okay. So you can kind of evade the enemies even without yeah. throwing the knives, uh, knives to them. Oh, at least I like the fact it's got a um, a save point. That's very good. Yeah. Okay, I still haven't quite figured out what's going on here, if I'm honest. So here I would... Yeah, and then you can rewind time now. So that yeah, I still don't. You get the knife and yeah, still don't. I still don't get the rewind mechanic. So I suppose the point is, is why isn't it just I get my knife back? Why, why the rewind thing? It's kind of bizarre. Ugh. I guess it does. Ah, oh, so far. It kind of makes it... Oh. Um, yeah, it, it, it kind of makes it like you have to plan your... Uh, when you throw and when you rewind, so as not to be seen and caught by the... Ugh. Yes. Let's have a look. Oh. And I, I, I think you can move while rewinding, right? Yeah, so I can, I can so move then. So you can move. And then when you start rewinding, can you move then? Uh, good question. So, for example, wait yeah, a bit I, and then... I can still move, yeah. I can move when I'm rewinding. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... I, I think the reason I'm really struggling is that the knife and the rewind mechanic are tied together and I just can't deal with that. <laughs> I think if I had a uh -huh. I think if I had a rewind and a knife it'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, I guess what you mean. But I, I yeah. Also the rewind is a bit strange in that it rewinds the whole thing. Except so, you. Yeah. Except, well, yeah, but it, no, what I mean is the whole period of time rewinds. So if I throw the knife, oops, if I throw the knife and hit rewind, I don't have to keep it pressed. It just goes back. It rewinds to when I threw the knife. Mm hmm. Right. Okay. So from what I. So because I saw this game when on the exhibition, uh, there's so now mostly it's just going through the level and getting to the finish. Where am I going? Uh, it you you have to explore. Uh, uh, oh, the arrow. Uh, arrow. Yeah. Alright, it's an arrow. arrow. Oh. Strain. So so you saw that the enemy. If the enemy saw you and you rewind the time and you are out of their zone, they become yellow and yes. start looking for you in the last place that you were seen before you rewind the time, I guess. <laughs> Just made a, <laughs> a mad dash for it. Yeah, so it's mostly. Uh, I think that was actually quite near the end of the game, I think. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Should we start going through the through the to the through the um system? My my total yeah, yeah. my total inability to understand what's going on isn't shouldn't be a barrier to their success, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean I saw the game, I saw how they play it and they explained it quite well back then. So uh, I have an idea what's happening. 
Yeah, I think that's the ah, end of the... There we go. Yeah. Huh. Right. That was so, much more stressful, cognitively stressful for me than it should have been. All right, let, let's let's go through it. <laughs> so, um, so what's our first criteria? Uh, so the first is uh, quality uh, criteria, and we have three sub criteria. The first one is presentation, so I, uh, I, which I, is information yeah. design and aesthetics. So I think I think the I think the uh, the aesthetics are great. I think the the, the music's quite Devin, funky. Yeah. Um, oh, I probably need to I need to go and think, learn about my knife before I. <laughs> so the knife makes quite a satisfying thunk noise. The rewind has got a really nice sort of wobbly sound to it. It's really cute. Um, and the uh, effects, visual effects, from what I see are. Yeah, it's just even things like the light things. So it's a really good example, I think, of how relatively simple graphics can be really effective. You know, they really have done a good job. Um, yeah. So, so the the information design is interesting. There's not a lot of information in the UI, but you do have a really effective um, uh, sort of cone of sight. So I mean, I know that's not novel, and you know. Every stealth game in his dog is a kind of sight, but it but it works very effectively, um, and also this this laser sight showing you where the knife will go. Um, so actually, I think yeah. the, I think the aesthetics here are really good. Uh, what would it excellent be? So excellent is key information is shown clearly, consistent and appealing graphics, good use of audio like effects and or music. So yeah, yeah, the graphics um, are very consistent. And what would be what would appealing. be a, what would be above excellent? So prize worthy, which is novel, uh, novel yet clear ways of showing key information, consistent and thematically resonant graphics with excellent use of both audio effects and music. See, I yeah, I mean, it's not quite novel, but I think the rest of it is probably there. So maybe yeah, I, it, maybe maybe I would go. I would go between um, between Prizeworthy and uh, sorry between Excellent and Prizeworthy. Yeah, it, it does sound almost Prizeworthy, but just uh, yeah, it's just it, it, it's, it's 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 purely because we've we, you know these are not these are not new mechanisms, um, but they've used mechanism they've used established mechanisms extremely well. So yeah, yeah, pretty good. Okay, uh, next one is is what gameplay. Uh, game, yeah, gameplay, which is mechanics and controls. So it, it, and, it, it, uh, it it's very very good to it's very good to control, very smooth. Oops. Um. Yeah. So uh, so that that kind of works. And although I've been complaining constantly about how totally incomprehensible it is to me, I I am sat here playing it. Um. It clearly is playable. <laughs> it clearly is an interesting challenge. Um, I think it works well. Yeah. So ah, yeah. yeah. So okay. So again, what would for gameplay? What would excellent be? So excellent is a wide set of complementary mechanics and intuitive and smooth usable controls that lead to enjoyable and meaningful play. So the problem here might be the wide set of mechanics. Yeah. Um. We we what what mechanics have we got? We've got the time rewind, which is which is. A complex mechanic, but it's only one mechanic. Yeah. You've got the the shooting enemies with a knife. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, I is the fact that the enemies see you and then. Yes, yeah, that's true. You've got the cone of sight. Chase you. Yeah, that's definitely one as well. Um. And. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's a relatively straightforward set of things that you can do, right? Um. But okay, so what, what would so what would excellent be? So excellent is a wide set of complementary mechanics. Yeah, uh, and, intuitive, and smooth, usable controls so, and enjoyable play. And what, I mean, what are, and what about um, what about good for, just for the mechanics bit? So it's a set of complementary mechanics. Yeah, uh, so just a set of complementary mechanics, yeah. not so a wide set. So I think that's so I think it's probably halfway between excellent and and praiseworthy then, isn't it? Yeah, because the mechanics are not uh, that wide set. Yeah, exactly. Mechanics, yeah. but the other things are there. Uh, and then bugs, which I 
don't think I've seen any. No, I think it's 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 really um, really slick actually, bug free, um, has reasonable complexity. Um, yeah, the timer wind. And all so so sounds. I think I think excellent is essentially you know reasonable complexity, no bugs, and I think that's what yeah. we've got. You know. So yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I think. Uh, yeah. So. That's, that's so kind of I real. think what they're showing you here with the both of these uh, enemies is that when you throw the knife to the board in front of you, yeah. when you're in front of them and you wait for example 10 seconds and then when while you're rewinding time you can pass through their side of view because they're ah, okay. uh, going uh, because it's going in the past so wait a bit and then press out rewind and I'm go do that. Them. Uh, well, I see, but the problem is I just went round them. Yeah. 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 We'll we'll, we'll get to. I, I. So I guess we've we've sort of finished this section. So we're on to the bit which I think is a bit more problematic, which is level design and tutorial. Um, which one is first? Yeah. So the first one is level design. Uh, but so for example, good is a sens sensible level design that demonstrates a number of mechanics with good pacing and some clear ghost risks rewards. We so the level design I do think it does it is sensible, like you start off with not a lot of paths, a very straightforward uh yeah. path through the game and then slowly it yeah, opens the, up. The the pacing is good, I agree. I think kind of you know this this bit here is a marked difference as well. We kind of get to a much more complicated set of um, yeah, much, yeah more, much more complicated challenges. set of rooms and challenges. Um, I it would be nice if there was perhaps a final challenge to go. This feels a little bit of a damp squib at the end, although I'm gonna gonna keep dying at it and uh, <laughs> uh, demonstrating that no, it is really tough. You, you, but you might be just too good for the game, so you think that the ending is. I doubt <laughs> that. I doubt that very much. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah. definitely good pacing. Oh, yeah, so I, th I think I think the pacing's pretty good. Um, the what, so what, what about the goals, risks, and rewards? So what are my choices? So I've got some choices of where to go, but what are my what are my rewards? Hmm. Do I have so a, do I, I have any rewards in this game? I guess the reward is just completing the level, finishing the level. Yeah, but I don't get anything that helps me towards that. I kind of... Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this case, even if somebody sees you, that doesn't uh, detract from the score or yeah. whatever. Yeah, so, so I, I think the, the, the rewards thing is, is problematic. Um, so I, I think in terms of the, the progress, they'll probably be up at the good. Um, but the rewards are probably more down at a pass or e or a satisfactory. Um, what would a pass be for rewards? A uh, pass is uh, lack of clarity over goals, risks, rewards. Yeah, so we, we've got multiple routes through, so we do have different different risks. But why would we do different things? Or so so my feeling is is that overall mm -hmm. it's probably a satisfactory because the. The pacing of the level is good, but the 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 design of the level in terms of goals, risks, and rewards is is just at the past level. I think. So yeah, satisfactory overall, mm -hmm. perhaps. Oh, what about? Yeah, okay. Right. So the risks you have the yeah. rewards. So mm -hmm. so the tutorial element, which is what we're looking at now, we've got this use WASD keys to move, nice and clear. I note that the font is in the same sort of fits the style of the game as well. So this oh, is yeah. quite nice, yeah. nice little tutorial space. Um, pick up the knife, all and you that cannot works. progress until you actually do it. Yeah, so we've got this in them. So that's that's nicely done. Um, shift to rewind time and retrieve your knife. The world around you, you want to change. So, I mean, I kind of understand what it's doing now, but as you may recall from a few minutes ago, I was properly confused. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and I and I and I understand now that they can't demonstrate the knife and the rewinding because they're because they're tied together. 
Um, yeah, that but, was one of the feedback I think, which we'll get to later. But so I so I understand that. Um, so this is very nice. It's like, yeah, okay, I want to shoot the person, but why why do I rewind time and retrieve your knife? I I think. Yeah, I think they needed to try and find a way of demonstrating the rewind mechanic. That So both of the enemies in screen, when I'm learning about the rewind mechanic, are static. Right? So neither of them mm -hmm. are moving. So I, I think uh -huh. they needed to set up a different scenario that actually showed you what you might want to do. Right? Um, uh, for example, somebody, a sentinel, just going back and yeah, forth yeah, without just... seeing you. Yeah, so just so you can see it. Um, mm. Yeah. So uh, okay. So the tutorial, I think, what would be, what would be something like satisfactory? A uh, satisfactory is a partially integrated tutorial that co communicates some goals, risks, rewards through level design, and that introduces most information and mechanics in a logical way. So I think I think it definitely fits that. Um, what would be the one up from that? So that would be a, mo wait, a mostly integrated tutorial. Or wait, uh, so what I'm reading now is good. Uh, so a mostly integrated tutorial that communicates most goals, risk, rewards through the level design, and that introduces information and mechanics in a logical way that fits with what has gone before. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, it introduces, it does try to introduce things in a logical way, and I think it does. Uh, yeah, it does, yeah. Uh, yeah, here, for example, it, it could have been a bit... Yes, so, you know... Different. Yeah, so I think it's it's not quite successful, I think maybe it's halfway between the two. Mm, yeah. But you know, it's kind of, uh, yeah. You can you can get you I mean, can get through a lot of the level as well by just throwing your knife in and waiting for the auto rewind. So, uh, so yeah. if, if I just wait for the full ten second rewind and leg it, I reckon I can. You can bypass a lot of stuff. So I'm wondering uh, whether. Yeah. You know. It's a very effective strategy for getting through great chunks of things. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Oh, almost made it. Uh, okay, <laughs> so okay. so are we on to core dynamic? Uh, yes. So uh, the tutorial design was between. I think. Uh, satisfactory. And and good, I think. And yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the core dynamic, uh, we. I, it feels like, yeah. What do you think the core dynamic is? Well, I'm guessing it's a spatial reasoner, uh, uh, or, or um, not really, or uh, sorry, uh, um, what's the other one? It would be um, uh, the, uh, an evade. Yeah, chase or evade. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, that makes and sense. And so what they say is, uh, we feel that the core dynamic of our game possesses is chasing or evading. At its core, yeah. this is fundamentally a stealth game, as the game's entire premise is simply to get to the end of the level safely. Uh, one of the player's primary interactions with the world is a trowbow knife. Uh, at first glance, this may lean more towards a destruction-like game, but the player only has one knife to throw. The only way that they can repeat this throw is by using the re rewind ability. Uh, by rewinding the player's by rewinding, the player rewinds the entire world around them based on their knife throw, but the player remains unmoved, allowing yeah. this stack to also be a means of traversal. Uh, due to the in interplay between these two mechanics, the enemies the player kills do not stay dead, as time is always rewound to a point before the kill. This limit also means that the player cannot simply run through the level and kill all the enemies. The player will quickly become overwhelmed if they aggressively approach multiple enemies at once. Yeah. Uh, the full emphasis on evasion cannot be completely seen in this prototype as we had to sacrifice some of the 
time pressure in order to teach the player the mechanics in a fair way. Uh, it should be evident how these mechanics would enhance the cha chase and eva evade dynamic if further yep. levels were introduced. Yeah, so I think they're right. I think uh, I think I was wrong. So I think there's a, there's a little bit of a puzzly element to it, but it's in service of that evade. Um, yeah. So I, I think it works well for that, and 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 they're absolutely right. So a lot of the mechanics they have, um, they they've completely avoided the destruction mechanic. I think that's that's very effective. Um, yeah, it's a smart way to avoid it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think they've done a good job there. So what would be good? Uh, good would be a clear core dynamic that suits the theme of the game and that is well supported by the primary mechanics and mostly appropriate audio-visual choices. And what would be excellent? Uh, excellent is the same, but the mechanics are integrated. So, supported by an integrated set of mechanics. So, part of the problem here is there aren't that many mechanics to integrate, right? There's the, there's the, mm -hmm. there's the time rewind, there's the... I mean, they, they kind of are, I suppose. Uh, um, so, you know, you're, obviously the time rewind is particularly effective because of the cones of sight and the, the stealth nature of the game. So may, yeah, may, yeah. maybe halfway between the two, halfway between good and excellent. Yeah, it does sound yeah. like that. And then I guess we're on to their feedback. So what did they say for that? Uh, the feedback. Yeah. Uh, let me see. So during the lab session, we were told that such a novel mechanic must be taught in a thorough and clear manner, <laughs> even if it means if even <laughs> if this means telling the players some things rather than just showing them. Uh, we therefore designed the very start of the level to explicitly introduce the player to the game's key mechanics of the night and its rewind. We try to do this in such a way where we tell the player what control to press, but put the player in a situation where they are forced to use the mechanic in a particular way, thereby teaching them through a combination of showing and telling. On the other hand, we were also taught to not beat the player over the head with it, so <laughs> we do not explicitly tell the player anything else going forward, instead using the level designed to teach players by example. For instance, we place a target through a doorway blocked by two guards, which seems impossible. By doing this, we try to show the player that they can use the rewind mechanic to essentially be invisible for the rewind. Yeah. The final level we designed is the product of several iterations of playtesting with multiple participants in order to optimize the flow of the tutorial, with the aim of relatively frictionless experience figuring out the mechanics. So, so I think I think I mean obviously this little bit that hasn't quite worked, right? But the the rest of what they've talked about there has worked. Um, yeah, they, 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 they. I would say that they still haven't quite taught the mechanics. I think if you hadn't been there to explain what on earth was going on, I'd have been well stuck. But um, uh, maybe. But uh, I, I, I think they've tried to address it. So what would what would be satisfactory? Satisfactory is feedback was articulated and some changes have been made with partial success. Yeah, so I think they've definitely done that. And what would what would be good? Uh, good is feedback was articulated and reasonable changes have been made, have been successfully made. Oh, I can go back at it. What happens there? Oh, I still get killed. That's interesting. <laughs> it, it sounds like it's oh. uh, between, maybe. Yeah, I, so I, I think so. I think so. They, they, they've made sort of, they've made changes of partial success, haven't they? Um, it's a it's a beautiful looking game, and I think once I understood the mechanic, I kind of understood what was going on. Uh, I just it's 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 it, the balance isn't quite right. I think that the the design of the levels, maybe that the timer, the auto timer is too long. It's, it's too much you can just skip through. Uh, but but yeah, mm, really yeah. nice, really nice to play though. Clearly, a, a you know could could be the basis of a really nice game. So, okay, should we move on to the next one? So our next game game is Bandit Brawl. Aha! Magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh yeah, that's that's quite some soundtrack they've got going on there. Oh, and now it's and now it's gone all relaxed. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, this is great. This was kind of um alright, so if I click on I, I think they want me to click on start. Uh, yeah. If I click on that. 
Uh, level select. So, home tutorial. Okay, so that's good. So, I'm not sure I'd have locked these. I think I'd have left them open just in case that we, we couldn't do it. Um, um. But, we'll, but we'll give it a go. Tutorial. Oh, very nice. Uh, Alright. Start. Use the WAS keys to move. Get the rings. Okay, and space to space bar to jump. So again, I've got a, a thing where you keep on moving after you stop pressing for quite a long time. So press, uh -huh. release. So you see that? Press, release. <laughs> so there's quite a uh -huh. yeah. Anyway, okay, right. Let's go for it. So yeah. I don't know, doesn't he want me to? Doesn't want to double jump. Ah, there we go. Left click to attack enemies. Attack the dummy. Uh, left click while falling to slam. Okay, so it's like a sort of sh shovel knight type thing. Was it left? Oh, left click, wasn't it? Yeah. Just so it goes. Uh. Uh. Ah. Right click to block enemy attacks. Okay. So you have to be close to the... yeah. Very nice. Congratulations, you're ready to battle. So, okay, so that's nice. So it kind of te takes you through the little process. Um, I think it might have been nice to integrate it a bit more into the pl the game the gameplay itself, the actual levels. Um, but they're mm -hmm, definitely... Yeah. But they're, I like the fact they're, they're introducing all the elements as you go. You are ready to battle. Okay, so I guess they've gone with the route of having a separate tutorial. Um, so I'm ready for yeah. ready for level one. Light bandit. This is the player information. Here you may find the health bar and player icons. Okay, so it's showing us down the bottom. This is the enemy information. The enemy also has a heal bar and player icon. Okay. Fight. Fight. Oh, there he is. So for some reason my ah there we go. <laughs> I like the, uh, so, the the hit back thing is quite good. Oh, oh yeah, it's very useful in cool. later stages. I keep trying to jump and, and get him right. Come on! Oh dear. <laughs> so the thing with the falling attack is that it's a. Uh... Timing base, so you have to yes. get the right moment. There we go. It's like at the top of your arc, isn't it? Yeah, or when you're going down, I think. When you start going down, yeah. Oop. I'm not very good at blocking. Ah! Yeah, when you get to the later stages, you have to probably do that. It gets very hard. That's not a good sign. <laughs> At least the last level. He's almost gone, he's almost gone. I win! Next. So this is kind of fun, this is kind of, they've gone for an almost sort of, you know, old style Barbarian, double dragony type. Yeah, exactly. It's um, and, and each level level has a different art and team, I guess. Very nice. And it gets harder, of course. the The final level is almost impossible to beat, but uh, we are not expecting it to beat. <laughs> it it, you, it took me. Say? It took me ten minutes to. Well, see, beat now, now you 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 laid down a challenge, now. <laughs> I mean, if you get there, it's very. Uh, there are fireballs falling, so you have to dodge them as well as trying to kill. Oh, I died. Replay home next. Okay, let's replay. All right. Um, so. Uh, so there's more elements that come in later on, is there? Uh, well, 
only the last level introduces the fireballs. So there are four levels, which means the fourth level. Uh, so one thing's a little bit of a shame is is when you block, you get knocked back. Whereas most games, what happens is when you block, you create an opening, don't you? Ah, yeah, I think. Well, in this case, getting flung back can be a good thing because you're yeah. out of the attack range for a, for the next attack. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay. So I'm, I have one more go, and then we'll we'll, we'll start um, thinking about marks and things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... What uh, what I realized the best method is is you approach the enemy and just and and yeah. their attack is just a bit slower than you, so you can attack them before they attack you and yeah I think I them back just kind of just kind of realized that, that this is so that that's interesting because one of the one of the questions is why would you do anything else so. It's quite hard. I mean, it's hard doing a fighting game because you kind of, if there's a system, if there's a way of getting through their defenses, why would you not just use that all the time, basically? So you have to kind of create some sort of variety. I am, I'm. What's getting me killed a lot is my jump thing. I can't seem to activate it. Ah. I, get, I keep getting the timing wrong. I, I don't think it's. I don't think it's their fault. I think it's my fault for not being very good at it. Uh, okay. I mean, I'll try again, but let's 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 go through the so, scheme. Yeah. So, what, what's first yeah. on our marks criteria? Uh, so the first one is a presentation, which is information design and aesthetics, which is yeah. about the music, the graphics, and the, I guess the HUD display and all that. Yeah. So overall, I think it does do a quite a jo good job with that. I think it's very good, actually. I mean, the the, the graphics are very atmospheric. Um, the the music and sound effects are really good. They're, they're yeah, dramatic. Exactly. Um, it's very consistent. Um, yeah, and 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 the the controls are, you know, relatively easy to. Not the controls, sorry. The the UI is. Oh crikey! I'm gonna get myself killed here. Oh. Ah. It's going so oh, it's going so well as well, um, yeah. So um, yeah, I think the you know, I, I, it's it's little things like the fact that the that the health bars contain an icon of you and the character, right? Uh, uh -huh, yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, you and the and the enemy. So it's very clear uh, which one's which. Um, so yeah, I mean the the information design is is relatively simple. There's also and, some, uh, a there's a little bit going on in the, with the characters, isn't there? So you can kind of you can kind of see when he's leaning back to take a strike, for example. Ah, yeah. And uh, for example, when your KOT is low, your screen goes red. So that's another yes way to L little way of giving you feedback. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Oops. So in this yeah. case, so a good would be uh, key information is shown. Graphics are consistent, appropriate use of audio, effects and music. Which in my opinion oh. does help. Yeah, uh, I, th I think it's definitely definitely good. What what would be the excellent level? Uh excellent is key information is shown clearly, uh consistent and appealing graphics and yep. good of good use of audio. I think they're excellent. Um so presumably Prizeworthy brings in some kind of more novel aspects, right? Yeah, novel yet clear ways of showing key information. With uh, excellent use of both audio effects and music and re resonant graphics. So I, resonant. I, I think that they might be there for Prizeworthy on graphics and audio. Um, <laughs> yeah. the, the information design is... There's, there's, it's done very, very well, but it's there's there's qu not quite enough to demonstrate prizeworthy. So I would actually say for presentation, I put them halfway between the two, halfway between excellent and prizeworthy. Yeah, sounds. Yeah, I I think the same. Uh, so, oh, you're almost 
Almost dead, yes, that's right. No. Ah. Did you? Oh, you're kidding me. Again. <laughs> so, next one is gameplay. Yeah. Which is mechanics and controls. Uh, and again, that talks about the mechanics and how the controls feel and if there is meaningful play. Yeah. So, I mean, the controls are. It's a bit slidey, but it doesn't matter because it's not really a platformer. Um, so your precise control doesn't matter quite so much. Um, but the controls are nice. I mean, they're, 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 it's quite simple. It's it's right left mouse button, very easy to, to use. The left mouse button does the different things depending on your sort of context. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I think um, I think that's uh, the, the controls are, are pr pretty good. Um, so it also mentioned the mechanics. Uh, yeah. So. If it's a good, the, as the set of mechanics should be complementary, and uh, in this case, yeah, so they have uh, hiding mechanics. Yeah. They have a few different attacks. Yeah. Uh, they can dodge, they can, I, I mean, they can jump, so they dodge. They have the uh, right... Yeah, right click to shield yourself. Uh, yeah. And I guess in the later level where there is fire <laughs> falling, the, that the, can be. The one we'll never get to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, you... I think that might be another yeah. mechanic. And... So I think I think good would be a wide set of complement. Uh, sorry, a, a set of complementary mechanics, but excellent needs to be a wide set, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, ah, hooray! Yeah. I mean, so, so I, I'd say that, I'd say that the the controls are are, are very good and very intuitive, and it works really well. I'd say there is a, a decent set of mechanics here that they're using. So it's, um, so it's probably it's probably halfway between good and excellent, I would say. Mm -hmm. And uh, right, let me go yeah, face yeah. face the next terrifying opponent. <laughs> I don't want to fight. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> the, the last opponent is even harder because they have uh, 150 health. What? Not only are they harder, but they have more health. And the AI becomes very... very aggressive. You're telling me? <laughs> yes. Oh, I don't think I did too badly. Um, I mean, okay. you were yeah, quite close. Oh, oh, so hang on, so hang on, I clicked home by mistake, but that's okay because I can now go straight to level three. So let's do that. Right. So what's next on our list? Uh, so bugs. Uh, the bugs is the next one, which. So have you noticed anything? No. In fact, like... I, I would say it seems to, to be pretty good, actually. And the game is, I mean, complex. It, it is kind of complex because there's an AI and there's all the mechanics where you can attack and jump and oh, oh so whoa. close, so close. Uh, yeah, I, I would say that. So, what would excellent be? That that was uh, reasonably complex. Uh, yeah, with, so with no obvious bugs. playable and reasonable complex with no obvious bugs. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's probably there. Uh, yeah. Let's go. So, Done well. Yeah, from what I see, there aren't really any bugs. So, okay. Uh, next one is the fulfilling the brief yeah, and the first him. one oh wow okay <laughs> you, you'll see now how hard it gets oh great oh good um uh, yes. and the, the first one is the level design mm -hmm. so they i i like how they change the scenery and have the levels different and have different themes in the levels 
Yes. So, so the problem, yeah. So the problem with the level design is going to be that the the levels are effectively um, sort of areas on which to fight. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, so I wonder whether. So yeah, I I see what you mean. Um, <laughs> so. So what they've done in terms of ramping up the difficulty on the levels is to adjust the difficulty of the enemies, right? So this enemy has got... Oh, crikey. Yeah. This enemy has got um, uh, more health and is more aggressive. I think the previous enemy was more aggressive but didn't have as much didn't have as much health as this guy. Yeah. Um, and then they've added the fireballs on this one as well. And if you remain or if you survive for one minute or something, then it really starts... Raining yeah. fireballs. Yeah, we'll never find that out. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can so, stay in one place. I think try to. So, so um, it's it's a, it kind of feels like it's a little bit of a shame that they didn't do more with the level design to try and make the fights a bit different. So they're all they're all basically fights where you can fight on the floor, but there's platforms if you want. Ah, well, no we're right. in this case, I think the platforms can be useful because it's it's getting harder and they provide uh, another way of surviving yeah. yeah i'm i'm quite impressed the the enemy ai they've got i mean I, i'm presuming it's not particularly advanced but it it's, it's very effective yeah exactly um you know, it, it does actually feel like you're fighting. Um, they've done a really good job of, of, uh, of doing that. So yeah, so what, what would good be for level design? Uh, so level design good would be a sensible level design that demonstrates a number of mechanics with good pacing and some clear goals, risks and rewards. So I think, I think that the, the design is definitely sensible and it does demonstrate decent pacing. What are the goals, risks, and rewards that I've got going on? Mm, so, I guess you can choose to uh, shield yourself and wait for the opponent to attack you and then attack when they reload, I guess, or have the cooldown time. So you have in a sense, you can risk to attack immediately or wait a bit or try to dodge. So in that sense, there are... Yeah, uh, so I, I, I think the kind of, the risk reward thing is, is, is slightly strange. There's no... So how would you put risk reward in here, right? You'd... You'd, you'd maybe yeah. have some, something I could go for within the level that would help me in my battle. Um, uh, that that would make would therefore but would require more skill to pull off, right? So you mm -hmm, could put yeah. sort of a power up in the level that I have to fight past him on, and go and get or do. Um, if you think about games, this this is quite reminiscent of the original Barbarian, right? Which is kind of like a you know mm -hmm. classic um, eight bit fighting game. Um, and in Barbarian, the thing that they did was they gave you. Um, a kind of a, a, a finisher, right? Where you could chop somebody's head off in one single move, but it was very difficult to pull off. So you, um, had, you, you have kind of a clear risk reward thing. And if you think about most fighting games, they do similar things with combos, right? You, you can try and pull off a combo, but if you fail to get the combo, you'll be left vulnerable for whatever reason. Yeah. So, mm -hmm, and, and that's yeah, one yeah. of the, one of the reasons they have that is because that gives you, that gives you sensible choices during the fight. Um, so it, it it does feel like um, uh, I mean it's 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 a bit much to expect them to put in something like an advanced combo system, <laughs> but yeah. but, I, but I think something along the lines of um, you know there's there's a, a spot in the level where if you can get to it you get a you get a health boost right, um, and then it becomes mm -hmm. a, a question of you know is it worth is it worth trying to get there rather than just fighting the the enemy. Something like that that use the mechanics they already have and is relatively simple um, to introduce the kind of element of risk reward. Um, so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So I think kind of um, I think they probably still 
are at good for level design because they've got kind of the or maybe actually what's satisfactory what's satisfactory for level design uh satisfactory would be a sensible level design that demonstrates some of the mechanics with an attempt at pacing and some ghost risks awards yeah so I, I think probably most of their level design is at the good but the, the problem with risks and rewards bring, is probably more at the satisfactory level. So I think the level design is probably halfway between the two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can have one more go. Um, go on. And then the, then we talked about the tutorial. In fact, uh, that, yeah. So the tutorial, so the tutorial, the tutorial was kind of very separate. Um, but nevertheless, they've done a nice job with it. It was very clear, told you exactly what to do. Um, yeah, it was. It was yeah, it, was it didn't. It didn't leave you with questions like why, what does it no. do? Or... So if I go back to it, so so what was good for the tutorial? A uh, good would be a mostly integrated tutorial that communicates most goals, risk, rewards through level design, and that introduces information and mechanics in a logical way that yeah. fits with what has come before. So, so here's a question. I've just, I'd forgotten all about those rings. Do we are the rings anywhere in the game? Uh, no, they, I I think they're used only to teach you the mechanics. See, so maybe maybe the the rings would have been a way, you know, uh, to, to try and yeah, to try and um, incentivize incentivize you or, or do something, right? Um, I think yeah. you've had to you still have had to link it to the to the fighting in some way, um, but. Yeah. Maybe have them pro being pro a throwable item, something like that. Yeah. Okay. So so yeah. So I think I think they definitely get to good. What was excellent? Uh, excellent would be an integrated tutorial that communicates goals, risks, rewards through level design, and yeah. that introduces information and mechanics in a logical way that builds on what has gone before. So that's the problem. So they're not doing it through level design, are they? They're doing it kind of through through telling you within a controlled level. So I think for the yeah. tutorial, it's it's good. Oh, yeah. This guy's better. I miss this guy. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. What's what's our next criteria? Uh, so the next one uh, is uh, core dynamic. Three. We. Which I, I would. I assume they put destruction. Yeah, yeah, probably, let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they say that the core dynamic of Bandit Pro is destruction. This game takes inspiration from generations of acclaimed fighting games such as Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. Uh, it preserves classic fighter elements like pixel graphics, side view perspective, and nostalgic soundtracks. Yeah. And packages them into a thrilling modern game, providing all new characters, controls, environments, and levels. This this sounds like a review of the game. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna beat me. Uh, so um, let's see. They they've actually written quite a lot. So um, so let's so they've gone with destruction. Let's have a think about what they've done. So what would what would good be for core for core dynamic? Uh, let me see. Good would be. A uh, clear core dynamic that shoots the theme of the game and that is well supported by the prim primary mechanics and mostly appropriate audiovisual choices. Yeah, so I think they definitely achieved that. Um, they, what would excellent be? Uh, excellent is uh, a clear core dynamic that shoots the theme of the game and that is supported by an integrated set of mechanics. So I I think it is I think you know the the, the kind of the the way that they they've got they've got attack they've got block and they've got the jump attack and those three things work really nicely together. I mean it's it's limited but you'd expect that for this for this sort of scale of game. Um, so I, I would say they've achieved the excellent level. What what would what would prize worthy be? A uh, prize worthy is a clear core dynamic that suits the theme of the game and that is entirely supported by a well integrated set of mechanics and a, and a resonant, a resonant audiovisual choices. Yeah. So I mean, I I think I think the problem is starts to be a little bit the limitations of the game at that point. There's not enough. You've got the kind of three kind of so so to get up to that level, I think if they'd have managed to use 
put some mechanics in the the level a bit more. They've they've started to do it with the fireballs, um, mm -hmm. but it's quite hard to use the fireballs to attack your opponent. Um, but you know, you can imagine something. You know, putting spikes. So if, if this wall over here, for example, had spikes against it, and I could, you could knock them back into the spikes, right? Um, uh -huh. okay, so yeah. something yeah. like that. That kind of. So I. That for, so I think for me, the, the level. Um, sorry, the, the core dynamic stuff is probably probably at the um, excellent level. Oh, it's still very good. Mm -hmm. so it's a, yeah. Very very nicely done. Okay, so that does, ta does yeah. that take us to our last criteria? The the feedback, yeah. So I'm just reading here on the first question where they explain the game to see if there's anything that I that that's important that I missed because they talk about the tutorial, the controls, the damage, the yep. levels, the AI, uh, the different <laughs> dy uh, what, mechanics. So, but what was the feedback they were? What was the feedback yeah, and they were the, actually given? So the feedback. Uh, Bandit Bro received good feedback initially. This is because our game has a strong core dynamic, which has been tried and tested since the release of the original fighting game, Heavyweight Champ, published by Sega in 1976. Yeah. Uh, the dynamic is also obvious from the presentation and combat system of the game. Uh, our game's pixel art style and character assets were approved by the lecturer, as well as the catchy title. <laughs> uh, so. When designing the tutorial, we were given instructions to make it intuitive and easy to understand by minimizing text, confirming understanding, and introducing features in the correct order. So, uh, in yeah, and they, and they, yeah. I was going to say, they did a nice job of that because they had those those checks came up to, to confirm you were doing the right thing. So I think they, they mm, did that yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, they say that actions are in a specific order because they're dependent on each other. Uh, so they give an example. So first you learn to jump before you can perform a slam attack because uh, one depends on the other. Yeah. Uh, a short statement along with an image of the controls requires uh, required are displayed on the right of the screen to guide the player. Uh, lastly, upon starting level one, parts of the hood are highlighted and explained briefly. Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, while generating ideas for the game, we received constructive feed feedback on some elements of the g design. Uh, we were steered away from building a multiplayer game, as this would be difficult for lecturers to play by themselves <laughs> and difficult to implement. Yeah, I, I, appreci uh, <laughs> I, ap I appreciate the thought. It's definitely a problem. Yeah, yeah online multiplayer would certainly be too complex for a small demo. Uh, we were also encouraged to keep the gameplay interesting by providing more than one attack. Uh, in response, we designed some attack and the block action. Okay. And so, the last comment yeah. was that uh, the length of the game. Yeah. Uh, while Bandit Bro was originally intended to have a tutorial in a single level, we completed these tasks quickly and had time to include four levels. Yeah. Uh, and building these levels allowed us to create a rising difficulty curve. And uh, we were reminded to ensure a full playthrough would fit into the time limit for the coursework. Yep. And assuming an average player, the game should be over approximately 10 minutes uh, or around 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's all. Yeah. Okay. So, so I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there, but the the two core things seem to be the feedback around the around the tutorial about reducing the text and giving visual feedback. And I think they delivered that very well. Um, and and the intuitive order. Yeah, the intuitive the... order, yeah. And then the other element was the, um, I think they mentioned about how Mod the mechanics and multiple types of attacks and so on. So so that, that seemed to, that's also worked well. So what would good be for feedback? Uh, let's see, uh, good is, Feedback was articulated, and reasonable changes have been made. Yeah. Have been successfully made. Yeah, I think they've. I think they've. Uh, they've done that. They're kind of. It's. It's. They've done a nice job with those changes, but it's hard to see how they've interpreted the feedback much more fully than that. Um, but yeah, I think they've done a nice job. So it's a. It's a really nice game. Yeah, very good. Okay, should we? Yeah. Shall we? Should we move on? Okay, so our next game is Combo Crash. 
Okay, here we are. Uh, yeah, got nice music going on in the background. Nice menu. I like the style. Fonts is in place as well. I'm going to do what I've done with a couple of these and um, activate the, <laughs> uh, the volume mixer. Oop, where are we? Um, there we go. So I can hear what's going on, but I hear you too. So level select, always a good idea in case we can't get past some levels. Let's do new game. <laughs> Move around you the screen with WASD. Aim with the mouse and hold the left mouse button to charge your beam. Oh, I like that. Ooh. Okay. Aim at the targets with the mouse and destroy them. Okay. Very nice. Aim at the enemies with the mouse and destroy them before they hit you. And a little space to continue as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you, okay. I like this. This is this is nice. So you have to so if I just click it doesn't do anything. I have to actually charge it to white. Ah, Hit okay. All three enemies with your beam. You need at least three to get a combo. Ah, yeah. Oh wow, okay. That's really nice, isn't it? In normal levels, enemies only spawn on the left and right sides of the screen. Finish normal level and with what you have learned. Oh, I've got a four combo. <laughs> ah, so if you do a more than three, they explode and kill the ones around them. I think it's just a... Uh... Hey... Very nice. <laughs> level complete. Okay. Cute. Very cute. Next level. These are blue enemy circles. Alright. Here they are. Can I get them? Try getting a combo. Oh, they probably have a different... So what's the, what's the different effect, I wonder? So no effect there. I like the way they pause them. Ooh! You can only combo if all the enemies you hit are in the same colour. Oh, not quite sure. I'm not actually ah. sure what happened there. Did it destroy all of them? I think... Yes, I think... Oh, I see. So if, if I... It doesn't matter if I get a mixture. I have to ah. only get red or only get blue. Nice. Yeah. Click, not hold the left mouse button to fire a small shot. Oh, there you are. So I tried that earlier on. It didn't do anything. Use the shot to clear combo blocking enemies. Ah, ah, nice. All right, so I can kind of get that one. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not doing so well now, <laughs> but all right. Ah, so what I should be doing is shooting these bad boys, and then I can do this. Okay, yeah. good. So I'm already getting a kind of a nice risk reward thing because I now have to kind of they're all coming for uh, me. Navigate, yeah. But I'm like, do I do I try and get the combos or do I try and so you know it's quite nice because that's sort of built into the problem, right? It's kind of ugh. Mm -hmm. so like here, for example, I just had to clear them. Yeah. Try to do a blue combo. I'd love to do a blue combo. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh... hmm. okay. okay. I will try and do a blue combo. Oh, press the right mouse button to fire an explosive missile. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I really like the graphics wow. for that. It's really, really cute. Okay, so... Ah, these are tethered uh -huh. enemies. Destroy all parts at the same time. Use the beam or... So I'm missing what are tethered em enemies? Are they... Ah, I see. So you, you can't yeah. destroy them on their own. Okay. Uh -huh. So you, you so have you to, to destroy them, right. Okay. So so this is nice because, again, the mechanics are kind of building on one another. It's... it's um. So Not too fast, yeah. The oh my pacing life. feels. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Oh, wow. Ah, now you can try the blue combo. Ah, I think the blue ones chain, chain and kill others near them or on the screen. Oh my life. <laughs> Ah. Wow. Ooh. What happens you if have you have died? Get Kill all the targets to revive. You have 10 seconds. That's really nice. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, two. Okay. All right. So, are we into the main thing now, I think? Probably. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. What are they? Oh. I think you have to so kill them at just, the same time because they're just they chained. Are... Yeah, because they look like the chained ones. Yeah, I get 100, because wow. 100 points for being awesome. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Right, there we go. Alright, um, so this is a really good example of, of kind of how you bring the... Oh no, that's, that little blue snuck in there. So the only thing I'd say is I still yeah. don't understand what the blues do, if I'm honest. Try those blue behind you. Also, it is a pain having to... Uh, if I try this one... Yeah. They obviously... Oh no. They obviously do something else. Every time I die, do you think I get more of these things? Ah. Hmm. I think so. I'm not sure. So it gets harder and harder for me to get resurrected. Uh, yeah, oh. that, that's, ac that's actually a good... Ah, okay, that's nice. Yeah, there we so go. Right. should we start? Uh, yeah, let's let's the... do it. Get it, get at least the pass score for this level. Ah, so I've got I've got a, a thing to go for, so I can't I can't just survive. Ah, I have to oh, wow. to get there. Okay, go on. Let's go through the criteria while I desperately try to figure out what is going on. <laughs> so pre the first one is presentation, and uh, which consists of information design and aesthetics. Which I think they do actually do a good job of. Like it's simple graphics, but it's. I think it's they work. It, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's really well designed. The, you can't hear the music, but there's a really nice, um, appropriate soundtrack happening as well. Um, that kind of really matches what's happening on the screen. Um, the sound effects. Yeah. Not only do the sound effects work, but they're really they're really good. You know, they're they're atmospheric. Um, uh -oh. uh, <laughs> and, and like when I'm yeah. in this level now, the music cuts out so that um, it feels like it's ah. a, yeah. And then I've killed them all. Music starts again, so I know I'm back in the. Okay, yeah, that's pretty. So excellent in this case would be game is, uh, no, uh, key information is shown clearly, consistent and appealing graphics, good use of audio, like effects and or music. Yeah. Oh wow. So, so okay. I so I think they're definitely there. What would be prize worthy? Uh, novel yet clear ways of showing key information, consistent and thematically resonant graphics with excellent use of both audio effects and music. So I I would I mean it's it's not it's not like uh, you know earth shattering, but the design of the enemies <laughs> and the way that they link the enemies together, and the way that they've used colors. To differentiate between different groups, no, I I think that's really nice. Um, yeah. So um, I I think they're up at the prize worthy range for 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 this presentational element. I, I, it's a really really beautiful game. Yeah, simple yet very effective in yeah, yeah. the information design. I really do think so. And it, and I like the way the enemies come in and then stop, so you're not overwhelmed as well. That's very nice. Yeah. Exactly, so they have put salt into Don't. And this the is, game. This is so cute. This is... <laughs> Go on. Yeah, um, it, it's very interesting mechanic. So Gameplay. The next, so I'm putting prize work for this. I think so. I I mean, right? we, we, I, I don't think we could expect much more for a for a game of, 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 this, of this size with the amount of effort we're asking them to put in. Yeah, very nicely done. Yeah. Uh, okay, so next one. Uh, is gameplay which is mechanics and controls and again excellent in this case is 
a wide set of complementary mechanics and intuitive and smooth usable controls that lead to enjoyable and meaningful play. So again, I think they've so... achieved. I think they've achieved that. They've, the, the the variety comes through the enemy types and the different weapons. When they start introducing the different yeah. weapons, I'll be honest, I was a little bit nervous. I thought this is going to be too much. Um, um, I, I enjoyed the beam weapons so much. It's such a satisfying thing to line up these shots. And I, but but actually, mm -hmm. uh, I finally died. Um, I wonder if I can go, if I do a level select. So I, where did I get to? Uh, I just didn't quite get to level, level five, five, so let's try level five. So, um, yeah, I, I, I kind of, but, but it works. I, I find myself using all three weapons. I think, yeah, it, I exactly. think, I think if it was anything more, it would probably get a bit much. But yeah, it, they've done a really good job. So in this case, excellent uh, prize worthy would be a wide set of complex and complementary mechanics with novel yet intuitive and smooth controls that lead to sustained enjoyable and meaningful play. Uh, so is it a wide set of complex? and complementary mechanics. So it is complementary. Yeah. And they do have a number of mechanics, but is it that much? That's a good question. Way? Oh my life. Um, <laughs> are they comp I, d I don't think they are. I just think they're very well executed. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think it would. So that would put us at the excellent range, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which okay. is still very good. There we go. Still um, very good. Next one is bugs, and I don't think I've seen any. No. You, you... So I think I think it's up. So again, I think it's up. excellent. Is essentially when there's a decent level of complexity and no bugs, and I think that's where they are. Um, yeah. Prize where they will be for a very, very complex, I think. And, I, and again, I don't think they're quite there. Um, yeah, it's definitely not that higher. Like, it's not higher complexity than... It, it, it is reasonably complex, which is excellent. Yeah, so I think excellent, yeah. Wait, is this the next level? So I've, I've gone back to the beginning again, because I thought we were about to talk about tutorials ah. and things. And... So yeah. Okay. So I'm putting excellent on bugs. Yes, I think so. And yeah, ne next one is level uh, design. Sophie, the brief and yeah, level design. Uh, so from what I see, they do actually. Yeah, so do so, a good job. Yeah, they they've got a you know you you they're introducing different enemies gradually. Uh, the pacing seems to go up quite well. Um, yeah, they introduce different weapons at different stages. Yeah, and the risk goals and rewards are. Yeah, uh, th there are risk goals and rewards. And yeah, so so a good example of that is that they they don't even introduce that until halfway through, and then you're suddenly introduced this idea that actually if you if you destroy a mixture of colors, so now you, now you have this thing where, um, yeah, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna are you gonna try and try and get the combo, or are you just kind of just clear the screen so that you're kind of recovered? Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think they do a fabulous job, really. Um, so, what would excellent be again? So, excellent would be a sophisticated level of design that demonstrates a wide range of mechanics with good varied pacing and balanced goals, risks, rewards. I think that's probably um, where they are. Um, what's prize worthy? Uh, prize worthy is a sophisticated level design that demonstrates a wide range of mechanics uh, with good varied pacing and well balanced ghost, ghost risks rewards, rewards linked to alternative paths. So, yeah, so sort of different these different kind of choices. Um, yeah, the yeah. But I mean, paths, hmm. yeah, they're kind of. I mean, alternate paths is just you know could be different ways of playing the game. Um, yeah, it's very naturally yeah. integrated. I kind of, 
I mean, it's maybe maybe it's sort of it's getting that way. I think. Um, I mean, the fundamental structure of the game is is still relatively straightforward. So yeah. Perhaps, so perhaps we're looking at halfway between excellent and prize worthy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, and next one is the tutorial design, which uh, excellent for this example is an integrated tutorial that communicates go goals, risks, rewards through level design and that introduces information and mechanics in a logical way that builds on what has gone before, which I think they... They do? Yeah, very good. Um, what, what would Prizeworthy be? Prizeworthy would be a fully integrated tutorial that successfully communicates goals, risks, rewards through level design and that introduces information and mechanics in a novel yet logical way that builds on and reinter and reinterprets re reinterprets what yeah. has gone before. Yeah, so that's I, it. Yeah, so again it's it's the novelty, isn't it? I, I don't know if there's anything enormously novel here. There's some yeah. really nice ideas. I think the mixture of enemies, um, and the fact that you only get combos for certain colours is 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 quite interesting, um, yeah, yeah. And the way that they introduce that, but yeah, it's not quite there. I would say so. Maybe 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 in between again. In between again, I think yeah. Yeah. Oh, here comes the missiles. Yeah. <laughs> so that uh, leads us to core dynamic. Okay. Uh, so presumably what it's do you... presumably it's destruction. Uh, yeah, it is. So I will read what they said in the uh, report. They say that the core dynamic is destruction. This is because the focus of our game is to destroy as many enemies on the screen at the same time with the player's compass. The player does, does need to dodge the enemies as you would in a survival or line in a survival game or lie enemies up as in spatial reasoning games. However, the player has tools such as a single fire laser shot to clear nearby enemies that are in immediate danger. Further enemies move very simply and predictably, making skilled players have less of a need to focus on dodging. The player also gains, gains increased score from destroying multiple enemies at once. This score is mainly to reward players for performing well in the game, yeah. but it's not a major requirement to progress. As the only level that has a specific score requirement to beat, it is the final level in the game and the requirement is easy to achieve. Yeah. So that's what they said. Yeah, so I think they're completely right. So it's destruction. There is a puzzle element to it, but again, it's in subservience to the destruction. So the primary yeah, thing exactly. you're doing is, is blowing stuff up and getting points. And it's saying if you can blow stuff up in a particular way, you get bonus points. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think yeah. they've pulled it off really well and, and all the mechanics are, are pulling in the right direction. Um, what would again? What would excellent be? Uh, excellent is a clear core dynamic that suits the theme of the game and that is well supported by an integrated set of mechanics and appropriate audiovisual choices. Which I yes, think it does. It does. Yeah. What would prize worthy uh, be? A clear core dynamic that suits the theme of the game and that is entirely supported by a well integrated set of mechanics and resonant audiovisual choices. So is it entirely supported? Um, I think. Mm. And is I, I think it might be. It might be. By entirely supported, why? Uh, what exactly? Well, I'm, I mean, I kind of think there's nothing in here that's detracting from the main goal, which is to hit that high score by destroying yeah. stuff in the most interesting ways possible. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, it. it and the the, 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 the the sound effects are kind of doing are also working in that direction um, you might argue that the background music is a little bit generic but <laughs> I mean you know yeah, we we're, we're, we're being pretty we've been pretty picky now it's like you know you didn't yeah. get you didn't get Hans Zimmer on your game um, so yeah I, I <laughs> yeah exactly I think kind of uh yeah, I'd be tempted to, to, to put them at the prize worthy, I think. Yeah, yeah. 
Right. Uh, and lastly, so... lastly is is feedback. Yeah. Feedback. Yeah. So they actually give quite a few categories. So they have one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay. uh, the first one is specific core dynamic. Uh, when we showed our idea of the response was to ensure that the game will have a specific core dynamic and not spread itself over multiple different core dynamics. The game seemed to have many different core dynamics, destruction, our intended focus, but also had elements like survival, spatial reasoning, and chase and evade. To yeah. do this, we implemented a few changes shown below, like the first one being combo focus, yeah. uh, a specific tutorial scenario where the player is forced to gain the combo to progress further into the level text was started. Before it was not clear to the player how combos worked and what caused them. Okay. Uh, with the tutorial, the player is forced to achieve one and see the results of a combo. Tutorial text was further added to ensure the players understand. So that's the first change that they yeah. did. Okay. Next one is infinite lives. Uh, we gave the player infinite lives with a skill-based response such that they could focus on the destruction of the enemies instead of their own survival. As there was no major penalty for that, aside from the removal of the on-screen enemies and the player no longer being able to gain score from the dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, then next one is enemy simplification. Uh, another aspect we changed was the design of the enemies in our levels. Uh, we simplified their movements and, re and reduced the number of different enemies we implemented, making it simpler for the player to dodge their mechanics allowing us to add more enemies to the screen such that the player can spend more time destroying large numbers of enemies with their combos. And the last one which is removal of ideas. Uh, further, further we removed some potential mechanics that would distract the player from the core dynamic. One idea we removed was that having the player have a limited supply of ammo, the player would need oh, yeah who then need to find ammo pickups on the screen, further focusing the core dynamic of the game. Uh, another feature we removed was a timer that would require the player to hurry through the game and spend less time focusing on destroying the enemies. So that's all they said. Well... Uh, and I, I do think they... Yeah, I, I think it, it works, doesn't it? Um, yeah, they... Yeah, they, they kind of... Did they, remove yeah, they, they, the things, the changes they've made have worked. Um, uh, uh, I, I kind of, I, they, they, they seem to have, they seem to have implemented those changes in a r relatively straightforward way. So most of it seems to be removing stuff which would be kind of obviously bad, um, as opposed to kind of imaginatively mm -hmm. thinking about how they could solve some problems with their with their design. Um, so I, I think maybe what's the, what's the good level for feedback. Uh, good is feedback was articulated and reasonable changes have been successfully made. Yeah, it kind of it it, it feels yeah. like that to me. Um, Prizeworthy yeah. is about kind of doing more analysis and what what the changes would mean, isn't it? Uh, imaginative and effective changes have been made and interpret. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so I don't think the changes are particularly imaginative. They they seem you know relatively straightforward. But still effective, so yeah, I think we go for good. Um, yeah, as yeah. you can probably tell, I like this game a lot. It's 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 really <laughs> yeah. really nice. It's very playable. Good job, very good job. Okay, so actually that was our last game. Um, so we'll see you in the next video.